Terrifying Scary Stories, Volume 4. Relaxing into the warm stream of the shower, after a long day, I closed my eyes and began to wash my hair. The soothing sound of water became the backdrop to my momentary peace. But then, the routine comfort was disrupted by the faintest sound, almost like a whisper, coming from just outside my shower curtain. I paused, attributing the noise to the wind or perhaps my imagination. Upon rinsing my hair, I felt a sudden chill in the air, as if the bathroom door had just opened by itself. I tried to reassure myself focusing on the warmth of the water. Then, unmistakably, I heard the soft, squeaking sound of someone else's wet feet on the bathroom tile. My heart raced, water still pouring over my closed eyes, soap suds encasing me in blindness. I told myself I was just being paranoid. But then, I felt it. A cold, clammy hand brushing against my back. I froze, every muscle tensed, refusing to believe someone was there with me, rationalizing it as a drop in water temperature or a trick of the mind. I remained still, too scared to move or open my eyes. Finally, mustering every ounce of courage, I rinsed the remaining soap from my eyes and flung them open. There, standing inside the shower with me, was a demonic being, eyes wide open and locked with mine, mouth wide open, wider than humanly possible, as if screaming with anger and violence. I screamed, stumbling back against the cold tiles, falling onto hard shower floor, heart pounding in my chest. But as quickly as it appeared, the figure seemed to dissolve into the steam and water, leaving me alone, trembling, questioning the reality of what I had just seen. The terror of that moment, a feeling so vulnerable, stayed with me long after the water had gone cold and the bathroom was silent again. Settling in for the night, I started reading in my quiet, empty house. Suddenly, my dog, who was lying at my feet, perked up and growled softly towards the dark hallway. I reassured him there was nothing there, but his growling intensified, his eyes fixed on something I couldn't see. Trying to ease the growing tension, I stood up and turned on the hallway light. Nothing. I went back to my book, but a cold draft swept through the room, causing the pages to flutter and the lights to flicker. My dog whined, backing away from the hallway. That's when I heard it, a faint dragging sound, like furniture moving on wooden floors, coming from the unused guest room. Heart pounding, I grabbed the flashlight and edged towards the room. The door, which I always kept shut, was ajar. I pushed it open, the flashlight beam cutting through the darkness. The room was as I left it, undisturbed, except for one chilling detail. The window, previously locked, was wide open, the curtains billowing in the night wind. As I moved to close it, a shadow passed behind me, reflected in the glass. I whipped around, but there was nothing. Just the empty room and the lingering sense of something amiss. The unsettling feeling of not being alone in my own home made the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. I closed the window, locked it, and spent the rest of the night with the lights on, my dog refusing to leave my side.
I was up late, working on my laptop in the quiet of my home office. Suddenly, the Wi-Fi cut out. Annoyed, I went to reset the router located in the basement. As I descended the stairs, I noticed the usual clutter seemed out of place, but I shrugged it off as forgetfulness. Reaching the router, I flicked it off and on. That's when I heard the unmistakable sound of footsteps above me, deliberate and slow. My heart skipped a beat. I was supposed to be home alone. I rationalized it must be the house settling, yet the footsteps continued, pacing back and forth directly above the basement. Gathering my courage, I quietly crept back upstairs. The moment I reached the top, the footsteps ceased. The house was silent, too silent. I checked every room, turning on all the lights, but found nothing amiss. Trying to shake off the unease, I returned to my work, attempting to focus. But then, my laptop screen flickered and displayed a message in a chilling bold font. Why did you leave me in the basement? I stared in disbelief, my mind racing. The Wi-Fi was still disconnected, and I hadn't typed those words. Glancing nervously around the now eerily silent house, I couldn't shake the feeling of unseen eyes watching me from the shadows. The fear of not being alone, of someone or something lurking in my home was paralyzing. Late one night, I was driving through a dense fog, barely able to see the road ahead. The only sound was the hum of the car and the occasional sweep of the windshield wipers. Suddenly, without warning, my headlights went out. Panicked, I slowed down, straining to see through the enveloping white mist. Then, almost immediately, I saw a figure standing in the middle of the road. Instinctively, I hit the brakes. The car stopped with a jolt, but there was no sound of impact, no thud, nothing. Heart pounding, I sat frozen, debating whether to investigate or drive away as fast as possible. Curiosity overcame fear, and I cautiously opened the car door, the cold, damp air rushing in. I called out, asking if anyone was there but received no response. The fog was so thick I could barely see beyond the front of the car. Returning to the driver's seat, I tried the lights again. They flickered on, revealing a handprint on the windshield right in front of my face. There was no one around, no sign of life in the oppressive fog. The sudden realization that something had been that close, yet unseen, sent shivers down my spine. I drove away as fast as I could, not stopping until I reached the safety of my home. The image of that solitary handprint stayed with me, a chilling reminder of the unseen dangers lurking in the fog. Alone in my apartment, I decided to take a late night shower to unwind. The steam filled the room creating a comforting blanket of warmth. With my eyes closed, lost in thought under the soothing cascade of water, I began to relax, the stresses of the day washing away. Suddenly, the comforting sound of the water was interrupted by a subtle, almost imperceptible change. I felt a slight shift in the air, a drop in temperature that made the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. I shrugged it off as a draft, despite knowing all the windows were closed. Then, unmistakably, I heard the soft clink of the bathroom door handle, as if someone was trying to turn it quietly. My heart skipped a beat, but I rationalized it must be the building settling, the pipes making noises. However, 
The illusion of solitude shattered when I felt a distinct, unmistakable pressure against the shower curtain, like a hand pressing from the other side. I froze, soap saw stinging my closed eyes, too terrified to move or scream. The presence felt menacing, a silent observer just inches away. Gathering all my courage, I rinsed my face and yanked the curtain open, expecting the worst. But there was nothing. Just the usual bathroom. Steam hanging in the air. The door still securely closed. Shaken, I quickly finished my shower, the feeling of being watched never leaving me. Later, as I tried to sleep, I couldn't shake the sensation of that unseen presence. Then, from the darkness of my bedroom, I heard the faint sound of water dripping, as if from a freshly used shower. Make sure to like and subscribe for more stories.